on the off. Hello fashion sewers. If you're new to the channel, I'm Colleen G. Lee and this is FSB TV. I'm a certified fashion lecturer. I design, I draft my own patterns and I also sew. On my channel you'll find lots of tutorials on sewing techniques, DIY, sewing projects and also refashioning projects and so much more. So if you are into that sort of thing consider subscribing and let's get started. So I am going to be making a fabric belt. Now fabric belt is quite easy to make, it's quite easy to sew. The trick is to make sure that when you make the belt it's nice and flat. So I have got a belt that I'm going to be showing you how to sew and it is super long because I want it to wrap around my waist twice. So let's bring the camera down. Now here's my belt, my fabric belt, and as I've said, it is quite easy to make. So um, the length, the width is your choice. It can be as small as you like, or wider than what I have, and it can be as long as you like. Like I said, mine is super long because I'm wrapping it around my waist twice, and this fabric frays a lot. So the trick is, is to make sure that when you're cutting out your belt, that is on either the straight, the cross grain, or even on the bias. The thing to remember is that you don't want to get too much fullness built up in the waistband. So the trick is to make sure when you come to the ends, uh, what I've done here, I've pressed it because that aids in making sure that my edges are aligned. But if you look here, on the end there. It's nice and straight. But sometimes you can get something like this where it's just not quite matching up. And that's fine, don't worry about it. It's probably because I've sewn mine in the centre and I probably haven't done really, really straight. So this what this is this is what happens sometimes and it can even be as drastic as that. The thing is not to align that together. Don't do that because you're gonna get this kind of air pocket in the band, in the belt, and you don't want that. So if that happens, just make sure that when you start to sew, that this is a straight line. So don't match it up together like this. Just let it stay. Just, draw your, just sew your straight line, and then you can cut that way at the end. So let me find the center of mine. So I folded my fabric in half on the right side. So I'm now working on the wrong side. And we are going to sew each end of this. And we're going to leave an opening at the center here. So you're going to need um, a needle and thread, just, just a little sewing, just a little bit of sew hand sewing involved. So you don't need as many pins, or you may do. It really just depends on how you prefer to so, um, about 2.5, maybe even more, but depend, it really does depend on your fabric, it's quite thick fabric here, so I'm going to go for a bit more of a wider opening on either side of that seam. And then I'm going to take it to my sewing machine and then I'm going to then sew from this point here and then I'm going to sew towards the opening on both sides. So I'll take that to my sewing machine for now and then I'll show you the results. Okay, I've sewn the other end. So I'm working on the end where it's kind of a little bit not straight. And then I'm gonna just flip that over. And then I'm gonna make sure that I'm sewing a straight line. Check, yeah, that's fine. Bring that down. The seam allowance is really going to be up 
to you. I'm going to do a really narrow one. You can do um, 1.5 centimetres or 3 eighths of an inch, I believe. And then you can always trim away. And it really does depend about your, on your fabric. So I'm stopping about here. Um, I was going to stop here for my opening, but because of the seam, I decided not to, and because my fabric frays and it may be a little bit bulky, and I'm going to be hand sewing their closure closed, um, I decided to leave my opening here and here. So I am now stopping and going to reverse. And then remove my work. I'm just going to trim the ends like so. And the other side. And just trim the corner there. This fabric frays a lot. Okay, let's find that opening. So there's that opening. And then I'm going to get my knitting needle and poke it through the other end. Before my fabric frays so much that it will no longer be a usable belt. But I'm going to have to be gentle here because, like I said, my fabric frays a lot. So I don't want to disturb that too much. I'm just going to gently just pull up. So, so I'm going to get on the end and just push that into itself, get my needle, and then just gently push that through. I have to be careful with the raw edge because my fabric frays a lot and I don't want to disturb that too much. So I'm just going to go really, really slowly as I can without disturbing this too much. I know I've done it quite close to the edge but I did do a narrow stitch length. So I'm just going to pull it all the way through to that opening. Just keep them going until you don't have to use a this needle. You know, you can use something that's got a bit more of a blunt end if you are kind of a bit apprehensive about the fact that it might just poke a hole through your work. Yes, it has happened to me once or twice, but um, yeah, pay the price. <laughs> well, that's that's fashion sewing for you. That's It's supposed to be fun. When they happen, you just laugh. That's all you need to do. Yeah, put my finger in there and then just grab hold. I'm going to just pour there it is I'm just going really gentle with my I have now faced around the edge of my belt and what I need to do then is give it a good press. But before I do that, I'm just going to close that opening there. And I'm going to use a slip stitch and it's a hand sewing technique. I'll leave a description in, I'll leave a link in the description box below so that you can um, know how to 
do a slip stitch so that's what I'm going to do and then I'm going to press and then remove all of the basting so the belt is now complete and there you have it nice flat fabric belt and there's no twisting and this is how I'm going to be wearing the belt this is the fabric belt so don't forget that when you are doing a fabric belt that you are on the straight of grain whether it's a cross grain straight grain or the bias grain and do remember to sew from the center outwards that way you won't have any hopefully you won't have any twisting that may happen when you are sewing a fabric belt.